What is up YouTube? I'm trying to film this video for the third time, so hopefully third time's charm. I want to do an update video for you guys, kind of show you what's going on and what's going to happen over the next uh, year with this channel. So a couple things. First, you can see I have a different dirt bike here. It's a YZ250 2005 I picked up as a project bike and I sold my other bikes, so I'm going to cue in that video really quick right now. YZ250, I'm going to say F, it's a two-stroke. So it's a new project of mine, as you can see it's already kind of pulled apart a little bit. Um, I sold my other two projects that I finished up for the street bike over here, so I wanted a new uh, dirt bike. And this is kind of the sought-after two-strokes, or the YZs, especially 2005 and newer because it swapped to the aluminum frame instead of the steel frame. Uh, completely done up in stock form. I want to say it's 217 pounds um, compared to, was it like 224, 225? Doesn't sound like much, but 8 pounds is a big deal on a bike. And this one I bought for $800. Um, at the time I bought it, it was not running and the motor was already pulled. The um, Apparently the story with it is the... Uh... Okay, now that you got all that update on that bike, um, that video I actually filmed back in like September, something like that, August, I don't know. But uh, I didn't really do anything with the bike other than pulled uh, the plastic off and it sat in my garage over the entire winter. So now I'm actually like rebuilding it, getting it ready to ride. But before I go into that, let me go into some of my other stuff I've got. So I got a new motorcycle since the last time I did a video. Had the SV650 traded in for its kind of big brother. It's a Ducati Monster. Oh, this thing is sweet. I love it. This one in particular is the Flat Black 821. These bikes are pretty awesome. 821 cc's. I bought a uh, new helmet to match it. It says Ducati on the side. Put on a uh, tinted visor. And it's got a GoPro mount there. So look for some GoPro videos. I will actually do some this time. I know I've yet to do any with the motorcycles. And I plan on doing some this summer. And this bike's completely stock. It's only got like 160 miles since I bought it back in February. And the only, well, I lie. It's not completely stock. The only thing I've done to it is I replaced the um, license plate kit. That was really annoying. They had one that came out all the way over here. And the license plate would, so it came down, came across like that, down. And there was little reflectors and stuff. And it was really annoying. But uh, I got that. That's awesome. Gonna get some new exhaust for it. It's called like Trimagoli or something like that. It's an Italian company, but it's pretty expensive. It's 1500 bucks. So I gotta wait on that. I got a new job. That's why I can afford my new toy, but I'm really busy with work and I don't make enough to afford $1,500 exhaust in a month. So it'll take me a little while. Other thing, got a new car. It's really dirty right now, but it is new. It's 2017 Tacoma. It's the, uh, TRD 4x4 Sport. I do live in Colorado, so I need four-wheel drive. And this one is really fun. It's got like 11,000 miles on it right now. I bought it new. Well, I'm leasing it, but I got it new. And it's doing awesome. I need to wash it, but I love it. And since I got rid of the FJ, I'm not going to be doing any off-road videos with that. Instead, uh, I picked up, which I don't have here, a Polaris Razor. Got the, uh, it's like blue and yellow. Razer 900 EXC, I think, or EC. I never can remember. But it's really awesome. I'm going to be doing a lot of off-road videos with it. I wanted a designated off-road vehicle. That way I stopped thrashing my daily driver. You can see I got a uh, roof here for it besides that storage box. And I'm going to put that stuff in and hopefully get some awesome runs in this summer I can film for you guys. And then you can see here this uh, bike is in pieces since the other video you just watched. So I actually just started this kind of about three weeks ago and really got into it. First, I'll show you. I finally tore apart the engine. And the engine, for the most part, looks pretty good. It's pretty clean. Uh, I cleaned it all up. It's, it was really dirty, but I cleaned it. And uh, there's not really any scoring in here. So uh, I think I'm safe. What happened was the um, crank seized up. This was the only spot I was a little concerned of, but I'll, I think it's okay because my finger's not getting stuck on it, even though you can see that scratch. 
So I'm gonna rebuild this engine with this left and right case. Hopefully it works. Some of the bearings are uh, messed up and those will be replaced when my engine kit comes in on Tuesday. It's got a new crank, new upper piston, all that nonsense. And then I did have to buy a new um, cylinder head. This one you can see, it doesn't look too bad up here. When you flip it over, it is terrible. It's got scarring and pitting all over it. And that was from somebody blowing up the crank and continuing to ride it because when I disassembled the lower part, it had metal shavings all in here. They put on a new crank or new cylinder, so the cylinder is not scored. And the piston, supposedly this is a new piston as well that came with it, but I'm going to replace it just in case because he said he did a top end rebuild only and he replaced the cylinder head. So I pulled everything else out. Um, for the most part, it's all all right. That's not the flywheel, that's the bottom of the flywheel. This is the part. So you can see the lower was pretty messed up. This was a flywheel when the stealthy, and now it's it was all scored from the side of the plastic cover. But yeah, so uh, my kit will come in Friday, Wednesday, something like that. So I'll have all the parts for the engine rebuild this weekend. So hopefully I'll do an update video once I get that built up and back inside the bike. From here, you can see uh, the entire bike looked just like that shock. It was terrible. Really covered in mud once I pulled all the plastic off. So I stripped it down, cleaned it really good. I took a little brush, it's like a toothbrush pretty much. Here it is, a little tiny toothbrush. It's just made of uh, soft metal, it's like brass or something like that. And uh, I scraped the entire thing, I pulled the subframe off, the swing arms, cleaned it all. And then I put on, so far, a new uh, suspension in the rear. This one is off of a 2006 YZ250. It'll probably need to be revalved. Not sure yet. I'm going to set it to a softer setting, see how it rides with my body weight and my gear. And if it's too rough, I'll get it revalved at the end of this riding season, as long as it can hold out. And then frame's all good. The swing arm's all good. Tire needs to be replaced in the rear. The sprocket and that stuff is probably good. I'm going to get new wheels and tires anyway, but I might ride these wheels at least until um, I can afford some new wheels. I'm doing it over a few months, the entire build. So I'm just going to try and ride it as is and then upgrade as I go. You can see over there I've got some two new tires. The rear one definitely needs to be replaced. The front one's probably good. And then uh, I've got gas tank there. That's the only part of the plastic I'm still keeping. Have to buy brand new plastic. I've got a uh, new chain guy coming in the mail right now. I got brand new boots coming in the mail that look pretty sick. And um, besides the engine kit, I think that's everything that's coming this week. But uh, I've got, I might have a few little tiny parts, but I gotta buy a bunch of bolts off the website too. They're doing a sale 70% off, or not 70, 25% off. I wish it was 70. 25% off uh, Yamaha parts right now, so I gotta buy some of the random bolts and things I need. And then new radiators, uh, the radiators were completely thrashed and I threw them away. So I've got to buy some of those too. And a V-Force reed valve, uh, the reed three, I think is what I'm doing. But I need one of those for the carburetor that I've already rebuilt. So this is the carb here. It's already rebuilt and cleaned up. I do have some uh, carb fuel uh, vent lines coming in the mail, some blue ones. That should be here Wednesday as well. And I'll get that taken care of. And if you know anything about 2005s, uh, the one thing a lot of people complained about was this front suspension. I got to replace it as well. It's not, it's called the AOSS. It's not the SSS um, model that a lot of people lust after. So for now, it's pretty soft and that was one of the complaints. And I'm going to keep it as is, at least for the summer, and then replace the triple clamp and the forks. So hopefully it works out for me. And then the front end here, so the wheel... You can see it's a little rusty and stuff. I'm going to have to replace the wheel. It's a, uh, or not the wheel itself, but the um, brake. Brake pad and rotor. Thank you. Brake pad and rotor need to be replaced. They're kind of uh, worn out and they're sticking, which is never good. And then this whole front line for the brake is going to have to be replaced as well as the uh, mechanism up here has to be fixed. It was leaking, so it has no uh, brake fluid left. So I'll see if I can fix that. Obviously got to replace the uh, clutch and brake system and the throttle. Get one of those aluminum throttles that I love. And then I haven't decided yet if I'm going to replace the uh, handlebar or not. The handlebar works fine. It's a fat bar from Rental, And I don't know if I like it yet or not. I kind of have to see. And then 
I gotta get new foot pegs. The, whoever put this bike together was not thinking, and they bought either they bought foot pegs that didn't work for this bike, or something. Because I tried to put them on, and they're backwards. They were sitting forward like that instead of flush. And so I tried to put them on the correct way, and it still wouldn't work. So I just gave up. I don't have to buy new ones. But other than that, that's pretty much everything. And that was just a quick update. I'll do some animal videos too. I have um, the new turtle tortoise cage that I built. I can show you guys. It's an indoor one in my bedroom. Kind of, It's a three foot by two foot. So it's kind of cool living space for them. I just have them left, the bearded dragon, and that's it for reptiles. That's all I have. So I'll do some quick updates on them. And I do have a couple other pets in the house I'll do some videos on. But uh, hopefully you like some outdoor adventure stuff. And I'll stay tuned and I'll definitely be posting more content soon. Thanks, guys.